Detroit City, known the most as the Motor City or Motown. To Samuel Washington Jr., it is my home. My family is not your average blue collar family. We don't own a home in the suburbs with a two car garage. Instead, we literally lived on top of each other in a three bedroom home on Detroit's east side. Imagine having to share a bathroom with eight other people. Now, my family was not poor, but frugal and humble. Growing up in Detroit, you either stay humble or end up hungry for a life that leads to a statistical outcome. The statistics for Detroit are staggering. A nearly 14% high school dropout rate, an estimated 40% of children lived in poverty, and in 2022, the number of deaths caused by homicide was 307. My classrooms in a football field has always been a chapel of peace and serenity. The only way to advance my goals was to exceed expectations in both mediums. My parents did an amazing job of raising their children to be independent, responsible, and caring individuals. Understanding my father, after working all week, would spend weekends repairing cars to make additional funds to help pay for our extracurricular expenses and support other family needs. My mother worked overtime to help support not only our household, but take care of my ill and aging grandmother. It's hard to understand the struggles of parenting at a young age and the sacrifices made, but as a son, it was evident that my parents couldn't carry the burden alone. Throughout middle school and high school, my hustle was real. Working at a local car wash one of my coaches own and doing side yard work helped alleviate financial stress on my parents and taught me to value my purchases. The blessings of Detroit is the sense of community and how many people look out for each other. While not only having the support of my family and friends, I had several mentors. One in particular helped me to see the world outside my neighborhood. It's not every day you can trust someone other than family to help build your confidence or confide your fears. Marcus Cummins is the bigger brother I didn't know I needed. From trips to Houston, Norfolk, and Miami, my mentor helped me, and others make lasting friendships and memories, plus some great political connections. Not too many of my peers can say they had dinner at the mayor's residence or been in a gubernatorial candidate's advertisement. By being that extra layer of support, my mentor helped me get through tough times and realize the potential outside our city limits. Sports for many young men is an escape reality and dream of better days. Talk to every player on the gridiron or court. We are going pro and buying our moms, a.k.a. Dukes, a house. My ultimate goal was to obtain a scholarship to a Division I university. While going pro would be a dream, obtaining my bachelor's degree is the ultimate plan. It wasn't easy and I took sacrifices to get to the place I currently sit. In high school, I had to compete for the position of quarterback against my friend and now freshman star at UCLA, Dante Moore. So even though I was a backup quarterback, my coach saw potential playing on the defense side of the ball. While it was a major adjustment to play the position of safety and linebacker, it made it possible to secure several college offers. Committing to play football at Dartmouth College was not only a blessing, but historic for my high school. My head coach at Martin Luther King Jr. Senior High School made mention to the local press that I am the first student he coached to attend an Ivy League school. Humbling is the opportunity to attend this immaculate institution, but honestly, I was terrified to make such an adjustment and felt enormous pressure. Of course, my confidence was high on the field, but there was a concern I wasn't ready for the rigors of college life. The uncertainty of my college readiness was palpable, but one thing that was for certain, and that was getting up from up under my parents. No matter the obstacle, it was imperative that Greeley Street in Detroit was in my rearview mirror by August 17, 2023. My mentor, who I mentioned earlier, stressed the need for me to seek assistance and not go it alone on everything. He made it clear that it was all right not to be the smartest person in the room all the time. That advice has helped me overcome some fears and made my scholastic transition easier. The one thing that wasn't easy was my social life outside my football family. There was a question as to if I was intellectual enough to hold my stature with my fellow classmates, not to mention the racial aspect of being in a majority non-minority setting. My eagerness to lead a nest of home had changed after a few weeks to the longing of my mother's embrace and the comforts of home. Thanks to my coaches and teammates, I embraced the notion of letting my emotions out and making my fears known. My lived experiences and differences are not a liability, but my contribution to our campus ethos. Looking forward, it is my goal to express myself freely and grow my social network on our campus. Buckle down and expand my talent on the field to contribute to the big green success next season. The experiences I had in Detroit have helped shape my foundation, 
but my build out into adulthood is just beginning. Uh, the role you got on the team. Can you repeat it? How, how's your, how does your skill set fit the role you have on your team? Oh man, I just bring the energy to the team and play where I got to play to get the job done. And what you got in store for the future now for you? In the future, hopefully, I get to find a college I want to go to and everything and play ball there and keep doing what I was doing here. All right, Sam Washington, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Washington, Sam Washington. Man, Mr. Washington. Number 10, Sam Washington. I Samuel Washington again. Good luck getting rid of him. Mm, Sam Washington is playing really good to open up this second half. Sam Washington here down. Sam Washington. Sam Washington. Let's Sam Washington.